Let's talk about the one bag that I've never considered selling. What is up you guys? So today I am going to be filming Tabby Violet's tag video. I was tagged by uh, Tabby and the premise of the video is which one handbag I have never considered selling. So let's get started. Now, frequently when I film these tag videos, I cheat <laughs> and I am going to do the same thing today. Sorry guys, but yeah, there are two bags that I have never ever considered selling. Since the moment that I purchased them, I knew that these were staples in my collection and I have never even entertained the idea of selling them. So the first one that I wanted to talk about, I'm sure no one is going to be surprised by this, is my Chanel reissue. This for me, I, I there's certain bags that I never thought that I would be able to have. This one was one of them. I just felt like it was a far away dream. <laughs> I love this bag. I know that it was fairly popular at one point here in the community and it's kind of really died down. I know a lot of people that have started to sell theirs off and they're horrified by how much money they're losing on this piece. Um, I, I think I have a friend who actually broke even or maybe made a profit off of it. But I do know that a lot of people are selling off their bag. I would never, and I mean, I would never sell this bag ever. Probably everything else in my collection, I I may, I've never, there's other items that I haven't really considered, but never have I entertained selling this bag. Um, I love this bag. I think that, uh, I, I feel a very deep connection to this handbag. I've talked about that before um, because this is a Coco Chanel design. For me, this bag is... I don't know it has historical significance in my in my opinion and I love everything about it I love the fact that this is what Coco Chanel came up with as a bag for women and I actually think that it's a, it's a great designed bag um, I love how low-key it is I love how everybody or most people don't necessarily love it I love that it's wrinkled I love that I don't feel like I have to baby this bag I would never sell this bag I know that when we get out of being you know in our homes and stuff this is definitely going to be the bag that I go out with I already have <laughs> I already have all of my items in there and this is 100% the handbag that I will be using a lot when we get back to normal um, because it's so low key I, I don't feel again I've talked about being like a target and stuff I don't want to wear monogram and stuff but I love this bag so much and yeah the, I, I would never sell this bag the next bag that I would never nor have I ever entertained selling is this one over here. Now this is obviously my petite mall. I have been trying to wean myself off of Louis Vuitton and one of the purchases that has made that very easy is this one. Um, I think that if you're going to have a Louis Vuitton bag, this is the one to have. It is such a timeless design and it is an incredibly satisfying purchase. I, I, I really mean that. I think that um, I could sell every single one of my Louis Vuitton pieces except for this one and I would still feel like I have the best piece from Louis Vuitton. And I know that for a lot of people they think that this doesn't fit anything and I've said before I can fit enough for like a night out or even during the day. I love it. I can use it as a clutch. I also have a thicker strap that I can attach it for daytime. I, I think it's a great bag and it really has satiated my love for Louis Vuitton whenever I think about buying a Louis Vuitton bag like a new design especially because they're always coming out with collections I feel like I don't feel like oh my god I have to get that new collection I, I feel like this one is a very satisfying purchase that really it, it has put like an exclamation point to my Louis Vuitton 
collection that I have. So I don't have a ton of Louis Vuitton bags. I don't feel like I have a ton of bags in general, but I have, because I have this one, I feel very at like purse piece with Louis Vuitton. And so obviously they will always, you know, bring out new collections and I just, I, I'm, I'm no longer as excited about new collections when it comes to Louis Vuitton. And I think that it has a lot to do with this piece. So it saves me a lot of money too. So yeah, I would never ever consider selling this bag ever. So that is it, you guys. Let me know what you think of my selections uh, in the comment section down below. Let me know what bag in your collection you've never considered selling. I know that for a long time, I never considered selling anything. Like I just the idea of selling something was blasphemous in my mind. But I have evolved. And I do I think it has to do with YouTube? I don't know. I think that if I was just watching YouTube, I would still be selling bags. Not necessarily because I make videos. I, I think that I would be restructuring. I think that that's something that I did learn here in, in the community. And for me, the goal isn't to have like 50 bags or just like more bags. And this is no judgment to anyone else. This is just like for myself. I don't enjoy having that many bags. I, I really don't. I've, I've realized that about myself. And so um, having like a, a smaller collection of bags that I'm actively wearing, which right now is nothing. I'm not wearing anything. But within those parameters there are those two bags that I would just never in a million years sell and yeah I, I think that it's interesting that it is one bag from Louis Vuitton and one bag from Chanel so I, I would be happy if those were the only two bags in my collection too if, 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 if you can believe that I love all of my bags so much but if I was only able to have those two bags and nothing else, I would be really, really happy, G genuinely. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate your time and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.